Second Chronicles 7.14 If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Can I make a confession? Here's how I normally hear that verse. If my people who are called by my name and pray and seek my face, etc., etc. Wow. Um, the word humble, or if you want to speak correctly, humble. I don't know. How's that pronounced? I don't know. Put something in the comments and let us know. <laughs> anyway, humility. Um, what is it? Well, when you told me where we're going to do this uh, podcast on humility, I was like, what does that look like? Um, so I started asking different people. That's actually the first question you asked me. What is humility? What, and what does it look like? I mean, uh, I and, thought I had a, cons you know, knew what the word meant, but then when I really sat and thought about it, well, what exactly does it mean to be humble? Yeah, we kind of stumbled over that for a while, but they say that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, <laughs> so come on this thousand mile journey with us. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Let's start off with, what does Webster say? Let's go to Webster's Dictionary. What does Webster's Dictionary say humility is? It says, having or showing a modest or low esteem of one's own importance. Um, Use your words. I'm trying. <laughs> and then the, the second one, I think, is probably what people think of, maybe. I don't know. Of low social, administrative, or political rank. So an example is she came from a humble, unprivileged background. All right. So what was the first one again? Just say um, the first definition. Having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. It seems like there's a personal definition, thinking of yourself, and then there's another definition of how others see you. Isn't yeah. that kind of where Webster's is going with that? That's kind of what it looks like to me. All right. So anyway, I Googled humility. And you know how when you start typing in a word, it fills in, it gives you a lot of suggestions? Well, I started typing in humility, and the very first thing was humility meaning. And then humility in the Bible. And then all of these references, which sort of made it a, a Christian thing, a yeah. biblical thing. And so it's like humility seems to be a biblical or a Christian concept, uh, at least according to the Google thing. Yeah. <laughs> Asking thing. the Google. But you had an opportunity in this last week yes. to talk, to ask a lot of people the question, what does humility mean to you? And I think you got some really interesting answers. <sighs> yes. Um, <clears throat> and... It, some of them were quite shocking. Some people had no answer. <laughs> this one guy said, I've used that word, but then he kind of stood there for a minute. <laughs> and he, yeah. he was like, um, and then I think his wife or girlfriend finally said, not prideful. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to a lot of different people from a lot of different walks of life. Um, older people, younger people, um, that one 14-year-old boy that we'll get to eventually. Yes. That was really, <clears throat> wow. Think, when you think about how we live our lives today and sort of the, the social thing going on, yeah. I think he was really honest and straightforward. And He was. Yeah. And then you had, so you had teenagers, you had older adults, you had a doctor. Yes, a very, I mean, a very nice doctor. He was from Spain. Yeah. <clears throat> he and was very, it was very interesting to talk to him. I talked to him probably for a good yeah. bit. And so we've, or Sandra's talked to all different kinds of people mm -hmm. and talked to Christians, non-Christians, pastors, you know. Jehovah Witnesses. Jehovah Witness, all kinds. And we'll get into that as the, the series progresses, which speaking of series, first of all, ah. <sighs> Why are we even talking about humility? This quarter, 
in at the school I'm attending, um, I'm working on a theology degree, and I didn't have any required courses offered this quarter. And so I said, well, I'll just knock some electives out. So I've got one called Personal Spiritual Development. I've got one called Holiness. Uh, I've got another one called uh, The Fundamentals of Prayer. These are electives. I wanted to fill up my little elective basket so I can get my degree on time. But I tell you what, I think God had other ideas because once we started into these classes and started dealing with the content, oh my gosh, it was like the trifecta of illumination. All of a sudden, I'm telling my instructors, hey, y'all, I know these are just electives on my transcript, but these should be like the core fundamentals of what we teach here. And they're like, yeah, that's kind of the point. Yeah. <laughs> so... And my next question was, why are we not talking about this in our churches? Why are we not talking about this in our Christian circles? And can, can I poke the bear? Why is it not being preached? Yeah, we talk a lot about praying. Yeah. But that humbling ourselves. Yeah. We kind of gloss over that, don't we? Yeah. So anyway, um, just to move things along, the one of the books that I'm reading in my classes is Andrew Murray, uh, Humility, The Beauty of Holiness. I've read Andrew Murray before, and he's, he's excellent. He's a, it's very heartfelt teaching, and uh, it's just an awesome read. I actually got the Kindle version of this for free. I can't even remember if I had some kind of am money on my Amazon card or whatever, I but so. uh, I like to have it on my Kindle, and I keep the books here. But um, And so if you want to follow along with us uh, as we explore what humility really is and what it really means to God, go ahead and get the book. Um, next time we're going to start on the preface and we're going to go through maybe that and uh, just a chapter at a time. We'll, we'll see how things go. So anyway, this is just a quick, short introduction as to what's coming up. And I hope you'll join us because... I think it's going to be interesting, but I also think this is absolutely necessary. The more we dig into this, yeah. the more we talk to people. You know the scripture about the still small voice? The earthquake came, and then the, the hurricane came, and all this madness and mayhem and noise, And but it said the spirit wasn't in the all of that. It was the still small voice. That's what I think when it comes to humility. I think it's that still small voice that's just telling me, hey, this is important. Like I said, I had, a, I was struggling really bad with trying to figure out, well, what is it? What does it actually look like? That's why it made me think, well, I need to start asking people if I'm having difficulty with it. I mean, I know that the Bible says Jesus humbled himself uh, and he was... I think the prime example of humility, but I still was having a difficult time with it. Something's telling me that this is probably the number one most important concept that a Christian can wrap their hearts and minds around. I really think that it's time, especially in these days that we live in, yeah. that we really need to get a good grasp of what humility is what it means to us what it was to jesus jesus was the epitome of humility yeah. and if we're to be like jesus we've got to start paying a lot more attention to that concept because in the end i think that's what's going to sustain us as christians i feel a real conviction to explore this because it seems to me like it's just really that important i hope you'll join us as we explore humility. And figure out why the world doesn't know what it is. <laughs> All right, short one today. Thanks for joining us. Please Thank pray you. for us. We'll yes, pray please. for you. And uh, spread the word. Like, comment, subscribe. All that yes. good stuff. Because we're just, we're just trying to get this out there. Yes, and please comment about what your opinion of humility is. Or 
What attributes you think that a person uh, shows when they have humility or that they're, we would consider them and look at them and say, oh, they're humble? We'd love to hear your opinion. Let's explore humility together. Thanks. See you next time. Thank you. <laughs> I made a face. Sorry.